All right. There's just, there's, you know, there's, there's too many options. There's too many different places you can go and buy tickets. StubHub, TickPick, Vivid Seat, SeatGeek. There's just uh, so many, too many. How do you decide where to actually go buy your tickets? Let's discuss. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Shraz here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon below to make sure that you never miss out on any weekly videos ever, ever again. I just got back from a little trip to the Caymans, you know, go do all my secret tax dealings and all that. No, no, no. Just got back from a family vacation, got a little R&R &R in time though. Time to get back to the, the, the good stuff. We got to get back to talking tickets because tickets wait for no one. We've got five things you need to look for when you're looking to buy tickets online from any different resale website. What are they? Let's discuss. All right, all right, all right. First off, we got ourselves number one, the fan guarantee slash refund policy. It is the number one thing you need to make sure that any resale website has before you go ahead and buy those tickets. The way a ticket resale website works is that generally they don't actually own any of the inventory on that website. They're all listed by individual fans and brokers who are looking to sell their tickets, whether it's for a lot of money, a little money, no money at all. They're just trying to sell those tickets through the platform. The platform is just making money off the service charges. So it's in their best interest to sell as many tickets as possible to as many fans as possible and not run into any issues. Not to say there won't be any issues, but that is why the fan guarantee is so, so important. How do these guarantees work? They're going to guarantee that the tickets you buy are going to get you into that event. If they don't, if they do not get you in, one, they will either make sure they get replacement tickets to get you into that event regardless, or they will give you a 100% money back guarantee on your tickets, give you a full refund if there are any issues. Should you run into any issues, contact customer service right away. They'll be able to get you all squared up into the event. Good to go. Make sure any resale website you go to, you go ahead, look for either a fan guarantee, buyer guarantee, refund policy, anything along those lines. Look for those words. Look for them in their FAQs. They will generally try and advertise this as, you know, right away, right in front of you because they want to make sure that you are going to get the tickets you're looking for. We'll make sure you're going to have a great time. You're going to have a great experience. And so it's in their best interest to make sure that you get the tickets that you're buying. Bar none, if this does not exist, if you do not see it, if it's nowhere to be found, I would stay away 100%. Wouldn't even jump into the next tips because it doesn't matter. If you're not protected when you're buying those tickets, where is the trust when you're actually gonna go ahead and try and get into that event? There is none, therefore only shop at places where you're getting a full 100% guarantee for your tickets. So again, make sure you have a fan guarantee, a buyer guarantee, a 100% money back guarantee should there be any, any problems whatsoever. Without this, do not buy tickets. All right, number two, the next thing I look for when trying to buy tickets online is the fees. Fees are always going to be built into the process. Ticket resale websites survive and thrive off of these fees. They're charging you tons and tons of money. So it's important for you to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Obviously these fees, you are not in control of them. So it's important that, you know, you shop around, take a look, see what they are compared from different websites. Each website will have their own different way of organizing these fees and how they actually display them to you. Some places like to put in all in pricing so you actually don't see the fee broken out immediately. Other places like to show you list prices without any fees in them and then tack them on as you move through the checkout process. Some of them might also just throw them in as you kind of move along midway. So they'll have the list price, then they'll show you the delivery fee, and then they'll show you the transaction fee, and then they'll show you the fee fee. It can be a bit, you know, frustrating to see them all. But again, if you take a look, go through all the fees, get through all the steps, get to the checkout, what is the total cost going to be to you from list price to actual purchase price? It's important to see all of that up front. If you can't see it all up front, again, get through the checkout process, see how much the fees actually are, and that will then impact how you make your decision. Sometimes you're willing to pay a 25 to 40% fee. Other times you're not willing to pay a 25 to 40% fee. Other times you might be willing to pay a 100% fee or more. I don't know who you are. If you are, come talk to me. I have something to sell to you. But in general, you want a fee that is not going to be super exorbitant, 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 exorbitant. Obviously, you don't want to be paying any excessive fees. So again, finding ways to minimize these fees, this cost is obviously going to help you in the long run when buying those tickets. Number three is just actually having a nice user interface with lots of different features. And that includes, you know, things that allow you to sort and filter, being able to search for the specific events you want, and then also having a nice interactive map, which gives you a general idea of where you're 
seat is located, as well as a view from where your seat is. All these things, they're not 100% required in each website and each app and each location where you're buying these tickets from. They'll have a different set of features available to you, but having all these tools enabled for you when you're going to buy those tickets, it really helps in the ticket purchase process, gives you a bit more comfort, a bit more understanding where you're actually going to be sitting, what's near you, what you can see, what you can't see, if there's any disclosures that need to be made, and then being able to kind of filter and sort through all these different options. This is key to be able to make sure that you can find the tickets you want. So again, if these websites all have these different types of features, these are great things to be able to help you find the exact seats you need. And it obviously makes you feel a bit more comfort saying, hey, you know what, these people are trying to help me buy these tickets, so maybe I will help them by helping me buy those tickets for myself. And by me, I mean you. Number four, number four, number four. What is number four? Number four is actually just having a strong app presence. Obviously, a lot of things are moving to mobile regardless. So having that mobile app available to you makes it a lot easier. Generally, they add in a whole bunch of other features specifically for their app. And so it makes searching for tickets, again, a lot easier, a lot simpler. And that's just a lot more convenient. Not all ticket resale companies will have an app available to them. Sometimes going through a mobile browser isn't always the same process going through on the mobile app itself. So having a mobile app obviously is a great feature to have definitely helps when trying to buy those tickets. Having them all obviously installed in your phone can be a bit of a pain to have them all. But again, if you have any favorites, you can go ahead, download them and just start searching for tickets immediately that way. So again, having a strong app, while not a requirement, is definitely a great way to give you some more reassurance that this company, they're trying to give a very positive user experience. And so the best way to do that is to be able to give you the features right in your hands immediately, give you all that satisfaction when trying to find those seats. And lastly, Number five, not the most important one, but definitely a nice to have. I would say it's a very, very nice to have. Being able to buy tickets in your local currency. Obviously, a lot of these companies, especially in North America, are all geared to the US market and will sell everything in US dollars. And so it can be a bit of a pain for us, you know, above the fold, essentially, up in Canada. We like to buy things in Canadian dollars. We don't like to have to go through the whole FX foreign exchange nonsense. We like to be able to spend our Canadian money instead of having to convert it. So it's nice when we don't have to go through any foreign transaction fees and then our credit card fees that might be on top of that and what other fees that can just be added into everything. Buying tickets is already enough fees to have to deal with. Being able to bypass just a little bit of them, it helps. It's nice. It's nice. You know, with all that being said, though, there's a new segment coming up on this channel where I'll be doing a deep dive on a bunch of the ticket resale marketplace players. We're going to go through all these different things, see how they all rack up and stack up against each other. We're going to be able to crown the number one best place to buy tickets online this year. There'll be new companies and new reviews coming out every single week. So stay tuned for that. If you don't want to miss out on any of these reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out. Also, let me know in the comments below which companies you want to have a full deep dive review of. I have a list of about eight to 10 companies already, which I'm gonna be able to go ahead and do. But obviously, if there are any ones that I missed or any that you think you wanna see, let me know. Because I wanna make sure I give you guys the best information possible when you're going ahead and actually trying to buy those tickets online. With all that being said, thanks again for watching. Be sure to stay tuned to all the different reviews coming up. And I'll see you guys next time.